Warning. Warning. Angel. And today we're not in my space station. We're in my mech. Destroying bots. Anyway, so today's time lapse is a special. First of all, I used 128 different stock pictures to make this happen. And it's totally custom photo bashed. Everything except for yours truly. And I took a picture of with my DSLR and add it into the mic. And it's total chaos. As it should be. Anyway, I made this art piece when I got fed up with all the bots, spammers and scam accounts out there that are harassing us all the time. And you have to take them away bit by bit. And also, let's not forget the fake promoters. My community what I'm talking about. I hope you enjoyed this crazy photo bash of a time lapse and if you do why not like the video and subscribe and share with others and ring the bell for more upcoming videos. I try making these weekly however this time this one will come out the first week of January. Next week I will redo this studio uh, with construction and that means I can't be online. So it also means, unfortunately, there won't be any videos. But guys, I promise you, there will be two videos the week after that. I will make two videos the week after that. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, stay tuned also for a video of an epic edit race that I did with three other of my comrades. It's on Illusion Design when it's my bro's site and I will make a time lapse also of my collaboration. So stay tuned for that. But let's go back to today's time lapse and make a mech from scratch. Okay, I hope you enjoy this one. Not sponsored by the way. I wish I was sponsored by Sabel and Red Bull. <laughs> Anyway, let's begin. Okay, so let's concentrate on the artwork instead of destroying bots, right? <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, so let's start with the one thing I need to learn is please why can't I just get it to my head that I shouldn't take so much time on a background that then actually doesn't even show in the last picture. Anyway, what I'm doing here is making a storm. Uh, it's a uh, sort of a satire for uh, basically when everything goes to hell so a uh, storm I decided that uh, this place would be some desert and now I start with the mech with its body, I start with the lower body and the upper body first. Building them from about, uh, say, 10 or so stock pictures. After 
this I add some uh, eggs from scratch like everything else so basically what I did was I had a small sketch from the beginning and I started to build up to that and uh, just took the references from my head actually I didn't really watch any reference pictures I knew I wanted some kind of gun that would be somewhat easy and uh, I mean a minigun is quite quite manly right and then to give some realism to it I I made all of the bits and pieces look more metal uh, after this I started to build the cockpit um, and I couldn't really decide what size I would make it but I had to make it the size that I would show that I wouldn't be a super small tiny person in the in the picture After this I started to build a custom made uh, hood that I started to build up as a smart object and then go back to the original design. I made all these pieces in smart objects like as for like small photoshop projects that become one big one. This is a good way to spare your computer from overheating also. I have a quite good computer because I work with graphics design so it's needed. When you have over 300 layers it starts to really show okay so basically after this I started to make all the bots and uh, I just decided to go from one of the elements with this round cute bot because well basically bots are just that they are cute things that people think are good and then you just realize that they aren't and just want to destroy every single one. So uh, I decided to make about three, four, no, five actually, five different kind of bot models and uh, that are destroyed in different ways and then piece them together in the final piece. After this I started to make a second villain being the drones that have this skull as a mark and it, it represents the scamming process whilst the bots have the follow follow tag because they want they want to follow you but they don't engage after this I just decided to go mad and, and make as much chaos as possible so shooting missiles hitting one of the bots getting some dynamic in more dynamic dynamic into the picture and uh, you see soon I, I break this bot down by going into the smart object and literally making it small pieces. 
overlay also is used a lot in this piece as well as uh, highlights in very 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 many different highlight colors this is one of my most vibrant pictures i've done i think and also not my most ambitious one but definitely the one with the, the most stock images i don't recommend by the way this using this many stock images I always kept kept uh, the workspace in two, so I knew what I'm working with and how it looks in the final piece. Here's the destroying of that drone that I talked about. So I basically took a whole drone and it apart and pieced it together in a way that it looks like it's flying from the explosion. Final tweaks to the sh storm shadows to the background make it more realistic even though this place does not exist i hope at least you guys could comment in the section below what this place is called and uh, also give feedback well what do you like was it worth it using 128 stock pictures So the final haze to give more dynamic in the picture, field blur. And then the camera roll and we're done. So guys, I'm Double Archangel and thank you for watching again and see you in two weeks.